Hi there, it's Kathleen Packett with ILNwithKathleen.com and today is day number 41 of the Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. 100 videos in 100 days and today we're going to talk about the cost of waiting. So is it too late to start? It is never too late to start, but it is always too late to wait. In anything that we do, that we don't do that little thing every day or consistently over time, makes over time it compounds and makes a huge difference. Let's use the example of our health and the fitness. So say we choose not good food habits. And is that going to kill you or is that going to be detrimental to you today? No, of course not. Will it be detrimental next month? Probably not. But a year from now, you may notice a little bit of difference. You may have gained a a pound no big deal right and then two years from now maybe you've gained a couple of pounds but by year five that pound turned into ten but more than just just the weight change now you've lost muscle tone you've lost energy you've lost vitality because you just don't feel like you have the energy anymore but in every year, it just keeps compounding faster and faster because there are more things that break down. So the same thing happens in other areas of your life. If it's your business, if it's your personal life, if it's your finances, it's those little things that we don't do over time that makes such a huge difference. Now, can we reverse that? Absolutely. So, take the same thing about the weight. If we choose not to exercise, but now what if we went for a walk, even if it's down to the end of the driveway and back the first day, and each day we added a little bit extra on, would you see a difference at the end of the week? No. Maybe by the end of the month, you're beginning to feel a little bit more energy. But now, I can bet you that at the end of 120 days, that yes, you would begin to be feeling much different. You would feel more energy. You, your shape would, would start to change. Your clothes would feel different. But could you notice that initially in the first few weeks? Nothing really changed. But little by little, that little tiny bit that was, that was changing began to compound. And when it began to get momentum, it starts to be more dramatic. The same thing in your finances. You do that little something different every day or every week or whatever. You tuck a little, little bit away. In your business, you do the thing that is uncomfortable to do. You do the thing that is going to make a difference. But you do it consistently every day. Whether it's making that post or if it's doing an ad or whatever it might be in your business that is going to make a difference and you know that you know you need to do it but eh, what's another day another day means that you've lost that time and for every day that you don't do it now that's beginning to compound and it's going to cost you a lot on the other end 
speed. Speed is what makes the difference. Speed and consistency, taking action. I know we hammer this, this whole thing, but it's so important that we wrap our heads around how important it is to be consistent, how important it is to do even the slightest thing, but do it consistently. That's when people see success, what, what seems like it's overnight, but that's when it blooms. It reaches that point where it's gained so much momentum that that's when it takes place. So at first, no. Are you going to see the results immediately? No. It's what you do consistently over time that makes the difference. More food for thought. Please don't wait. If you want to, to know more about me, check me out at KathleenPackett.com or ILN with Kathleen.com. Peace and success. Make it a great day.